Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to design gravity steel columns in the RAM Structural System RAM Steel Column Design Module. Over the next series of videos, you will learn how to design gravity steel columns, which will include the process for entering the gravity column design criteria, customize the trial group defaults, and then we will show you how to design the gravity steel columns and review the results. In this video, you will learn how to design all of your gravity steel columns and review the results in the RAM steel column design module. When the design all command is invoked, this will be used to size all columns which has not been previously assigned a size in the column design module. To perform a design in the RAM steel column design module, we will go up to the toolbar and click on the design all icon. After the design is performed, the color scale will be shown on screen indicating the interaction ratio for each column. If you would like to show the values of the interaction ratio on each column, we can also click on the show values button. You can also customize it information that is shown on your screen by unselecting several items in the view toolbar. Here we can unselect the slabs that might give us a clearer view of each of the columns in the design module. After the design is performed, you can view or update the results for each column on an individual column basis using our view update tool. To activate this tool, we will click on the View Update icon in the toolbar, and then we will select the column that we want to change or modify. Here we'll select the column on grid intersection E.5-2. In the View Update Column Design dialog, you can inspect the size of the column and the results for each trial group. You can view the full output results file modify the column size, shape, or yield strength, and you can also save these modifications to the database. For this particular column, we did optimize it to be a W shape and it selected the most optimum size for each trial group, our W12s, our W10s, and our W8s. The W8 by 40 was selected because it is the lightest section out of the results for each trial group. Now if you would like to review the results in report format, we can click on the View Results button in the View Update column dialog. Here we can see a variety of information such as the column unbrace length, the controlling column loads, and also the calculated parameters and interaction results. After reviewing the results for this particular column, we may decide that we want to change some of the properties for the column. We can change the size and the yield strength also through the View Update Column dialog. So say for example for this column I would like to select an HSS section instead. Of course I should enter the appropriate yield strength for this column and also I can manually select a particular size that might be of interest to me. Say for this column I'll select a HSS 8 by 8 by 3 8 once I enter the correct size and yield strength, I'll go ahead and click Analyze, and then I'll see down here that the interaction ratio is still less than 1, which means that this column would satisfy the code checking requirements. I can also see that the indicator light over here is green, which also indicates a passing connection design. If I would like to override the optimized side that was chosen, I would go ahead and click on the select button and then we would see the changes appearing up here for our final design. Here we can see our yield strength and also our size selected. If we want to officially make these changes to the database, I could say update database and now that size is a user assigned size as far as RAM steel column is concerned. If any modeling changes take place, after a size is officially assigned in this design module, 
when you go ahead and re-perform a design or re-optimization, RAM steel column will not override this size with a new size. It'll consider that HSS 8 by 8 by 3 8 but it will also report to you whether or not this design is failing. In addition to being able to use the view update tool to review the results of each column on a column by column basis, we also have several reports that can be created or generated and printed for your records or review. We can access these reports from the reports menu item at the top of the screen. Here let's go ahead and review the column summary report. From the column summary report, I can see the results of each gravity column design, including its location, the actual forces that were applied on each column, the interaction ratio and the resulting size and yield strength that were used for that particular column. Once you are done reviewing your results, you can print them for your records or just simply close out of this column design summary report. Also in the reports menu, we do also have a report for your base plates. I'm going to go ahead and select the base plate option and then select the summary report. Here I can see every vertical standard gravity steel column has been assigned a base plate. I can yield, see the yield strength and also the size and thickness of each base plate that was assigned considering those base plate criteria that we set up at the beginning of entering the RAM steel column design module. After reviewing your base plate design summary, we can go ahead and close out of this report. More detailed views of those calculations can also be accessed through the other base plate reports. Once you have finished designing all of your gravity steel columns in the RAM steel column design module, you're ready to move on to the next phase in your workflow. To do this, we will exit RAM Steel Column by clicking File, Exit, which will bring us right back to the RAM Manager. Now for this particular model, our next logical step would be to start analyzing the lateral force resisting system in RAM Frame. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.